Hi, everybody. Welcome to New Year's resolutions. Today is January 23rd. And the resolution for today is be kind rather than right. And you probably hear it before from Dr. Wayne Dyer. He is a teacher that I still follow and are very um, impressed with what he teaches. And, and it is a teaching that I really like and that I uh, like to continue his legacy. So be kind rather than right. Many times we are in organizations where disagreements happen, right? So when the leaders of the organization get mad at each other and tell each other that they're wrong, it creates the, this uh, harmony in the uh, group. So what happens when the leaders are not happy with each other is that reflects on the group because they're not willing to assist. Uh, they're not willing to attend. Uh, they don't feel comfortable. They don't feel that what they are doing or the role that they are doing is good enough, right? And many times this happens with uh, overachievers. We don't think that is good enough or we always are looking for improvement. And probably what you're doing is already good enough and you probably don't even see yourself as, as someone capable of doing something good enough. So what do we need to do in these cases is that we need to focus on harmony. Uh, many times in situations in life, uh, harmony is more important than the rules. The rules are going to be broken and situations are going to be happen. So what happens when a situation gets out of hand is we don't um, assess it in the moment. But if it's not something that is a uh, death or life uh, threatened, you know, situation is nothing where no one is going to die. So sometimes we let go of situations and um, they are not life threatened. And that is normal. That is very human. So uh, how do we move away from uh, conflict is being kind. How can you um, think about it in a way where you can address it in a kindly manner and probably apologize and just acknowledge what happened. And what happens sometimes in situations is that we see the problem bigger than it is. So, and, and if it helps you to talk to anyone that can um, help you just see how they see it. You know, everyone has different perspectives. And many times the way people is reacting to a situation is how they are feeling themselves. So when people is complaining and they want a recognition is because in their life, they're not being uh, recognized for a big effort that they are doing, or they don't get told enough how good they are and how well they are doing and how much they are loved, how much they are admired, how much their life matters to uh, the other person, right? So many times that happens, the people who are overachievers are not told enough that they are good, that they are uh, loving and caring and, and they are uh, loved. You know, we don't get told that many times. So what we need to do is uh, telling ourselves that we love ourselves. Maria, I love you in whatever your name it is, Joe, Mary, Nancy, um, whatever it is that your name is, right? We need to be able to tell ourselves that we love ourselves. And what self-love is going to create in your life is going to give you uh, confidence. It's going to give you uh, the ability to see others as human beings. Maya Angelou is becoming big for her uh, poetry and where she just talks about that it's hard to hate another person when you can look into their eyes and see another human being. So that's how we need to see others like a human being. And uh, we do mistakes. We um, also press each other to do better. And I do understand that uh, society is very, uh, is very uh, competing, right? We want to compete. We want to get better. We want to achieve. And that is uh, understandable. And it's uh, human nature, right? We don't want to get behind. We're always trying to do our best uh, to move forward. So what happens when situations get frustrated, uh, the best way to address it is being kind. Uh, sometimes in relationships, it's like that too. Instead of being right or instead of having the last argument or the last saying, maybe it's healthier to end the fight and just be kind about it. Just say, I probably don't understand your point of view and I probably don't feel the way you feel and I probably don't understand what you're telling me fully. But um, if you give me some time, I'll, I'll get it, right? 
our intelligence is connected to the intelligence of the universe. So there is uh, no way that we can have be intelligent or knowing how to address the situations. So if you focus on kindness better than being right, better than having the argument, you will see the results. You will see that it's resolved in a healthy manner and that uh, keeping the harmony uh, is important unless you have to have a fight, unless you have to split ways. But even then, if you are kind to the other person, they will still be kinder to you than they will normally be. We all get mad at situations, we get upset with each other, and then um, we think about it, you know, what the call head, not so much in agitation of what happens. And then we see it in a different way. So how can you lift up uh, someone that is uh, feeling like they fail? Well, you tell them uh, who they are as a human being and how good they are. You know, we all have good in ourselves. It's just sometimes we need people to tell us how good we are. So we need to tell people how good they are and forgive them for whatever it is that they did that affected us. So the work of forgiveness is what starts the harmony. And uh, being kind to others doesn't mean that you forgive or that you condone the behavior right away, but that you are understanding. You're not willing to be harsh. You're not willing to be mean. You're not willing to be uh, doing a behavior that you might uh, probably think over and wish you didn't uh, that, right? So words and behaviors are acts that we cannot take back once when they're out. So what happens when we said something and uh, the other person took it hard is that we need to lift up that person. It's like when you're a child and someone uh, yells at you, you feel like uh, you don't know anything, right? You, you're, not, you're not ignorant and someone older knows better. And, and that may be the case, but also there is a wisdom uh, within you, even since you've been a child. And um, all of our generations are fighting with the old ways in the ways things used to be. So uh, people who are older than us are gonna keep telling us how better it was uh, as it was before. And the new generations are keep on pushing for the new ways of doing things, right? So it is a fight uh, with uh, generations and also it's a fight with uh, different, um, um, how, uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that different ways of having power, different positions, I guess, higher positions have uh, higher power, right? So if you are someone that doesn't have a higher power right now and you're in a, pos a position where you are learning, it's okay to do mistakes because that's how you learn. And many times what happens when we're at positions that don't have uh, much power, we might wanna move to a position that has more power. And if you don't have that ability right now, a way of feeling empowered is loving yourself and appreciating um, the things that you do well. And how are you creative? And how are you enjoying life? How are you enjoying this day today? And what are you doing to make yourself smile and happy? What are the activities that you're allowing yourself to enjoy? And what are the activities that you are allowing others to enjoy, right? <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta get ready to work. Uh, this morning I was in meetings and trainings all morning and then I got tired and I've been cooking. Now I need to go put some makeup uh, to go to work and my uniform. So thank you for watching. I love you, be kind rather than right. That is our resolution for today, January 23rd. I love you. Thank you for watching.